Hi, welcome to my channel EasyML. In this video, let us summarize the whole workflow when it comes to building classification models. Let us examine the steps when building a classification model. First, we must select the predicted variable. And it is important for you to note that the data type of this predicted variable has to be categorical. Usually, the predicted variable arises from a business case or a business problem. In R, we have a default package called the utils package. The utils package has a function called the str function. This function will help examine the data type of variables within a particular data set. Now, the next step is to select predictors. Unlike regression model, in classification models, when we select predictors, we need to leverage two things. One is domain knowledge and the other is to adopt a trial and error approach. The utils package in R has functions such as the view and the str functions that can help inspect the data and check for relevant predictors. The next step is to split the data. Well, we split the observations in a particular data set into two samples, training and testing. Note that the model will only be built on the training data and the accuracy of the model will be evaluated on the testing data set. The base package in R contains the sample function and this function will help us split the data into training and testing. Now, the next step is to build the classification model. If you can recall, in the introductory video, I had mentioned that there are various types of classification models. But in this course, we have only explored the random forest algorithm. In R, within the random forest package, there is a function called random forest. And this function will help us deploy the random forest classification model. Now, the last step is to evaluate the model accuracy or in other words check for prediction accuracy as i mentioned the model accuracy will be checked on the testing data set we will compare the actual values in the testing data with the predicted values the confusion matrix is one of the best ways to evaluate prediction accuracy of any classification model well the base package in r has a table function and this function can help us build the confusion matrix to evaluate classification models. Now, we have come to the end of supervised learning. In the next video, we will delve into unsupervised learning. Thank you and stay tuned.